Captain Marvel meets with Iron Man on a roof in the dead of night, who tells her that they have been re-evaluating her performance with the Avengers, and claims that she isn't good enough. She was surprised to hear him say that, and claimed she had busted everything for them, going back and forth between the Avengers and S.W.O.R.D. Iron Man claims that despite that, he feels it isn't good enough, so he suddenly attacks her with a repulsor beam. Captain Marvel withstood it, but Iron Man continued his attacks, firing a uni-beam at her, followed by a barrage of missiles. Dazed and confused, Captain Marvel looks up and discovers that it is not Iron Man who then knocks her out. Ugly-ass robo-Iron Man claims that Captain Marvel's reaction was predictable when her emotions clouded her judgment. Suddenly, Vision and a synthesoid version of Captain Marvel show up who claim that emotions are irrelevant and therefore imperfect. Robo-Iron Man argues that they were programmed to simulate those emotions and are, thus, relevant. Vision stops their arguing and orders her to put the mental interface device on Captain Marvel before she regains consciousness. He then gives them their next mission, to locate and observe Thor, but reminds them not to engage the target until they are contacted. Vision returns to Ultron's lab with the unconscious Captain Marvel and places her in a containment tube. With Iron Man and Captain Marvel captured, the Synthezoids are now connected to their source Avenger, giving them full access to all their memories, abilities, skills, and even reflexes. Ultron claims that the only difference is that they are free of their emotions, which he describes as the chaos that plagues them. With them under his control, he declares that they are now perfect. Captain Marvel is barely conscious and discovers that Ultron is the mastermind behind everything. Ultron explains that although the Synthezoid upgrades have been completed, Thor proves to be their greatest threat. He orders Vision to capture the remaining Avengers before confronting him. Once they have captured all Avengers, Ultron claims the Imperative will be carried out to eliminate all life, and the Synthezoids will inherit the planet. Back at the mansion, Captain America spends his night training with his old shield. Hawkeye walks in on him and claims he is fascinated by the energy shield Iron Man made for him. Captain America wonders why he's down there when he's supposed to be on monitor duty, but Hawkeye claims that Jarvis will let him know if something's up. He explains how Captain America was a dumbass to ditch it for his old shield, which he describes as an old trash can lid. Hawkeye claims that not only is it a shield, but it also functions to protect multiple people, transform into different shapes, and fire lasers with it. Captain America states that Iron Man's energy shield may be fancy, but he still prefers the classics and claims that he and his shield go way back. While Hawkeye is trying to convince Captain America, Robo-Hawkeye suddenly attacks them. Vision shows up and demands that they surrender without resisting, but Captain America refuses, and they fight. While Captain America deals with his own synthesoid, Hawkeye has his hands full with Vision and his synthesoid. Hawkeye attacks Vision with a sonic arrow, which briefly incapacitates him long enough for the arrow to explode. When Vision tries to fight back, Hawkeye bombards him with multiple explosive tip arrows. Hawkeye then shoots a bolo arrow at Cap's synthesoid while Captain America throws his shield to deflect Vision, who fires a laser. When Captain America is about to walk away, the synthesoid grabs his leg and they both get crushed by some rubble. Hawkeye calls out to Cap, but his synthesoid shoots him from behind with an electrical arrow to shock him. When Vision wonders where Captain America is, his synthesoid emerges from the smoke and claims that Captain America is obliterated with nothing but his shield remains. Later, Vision shows up before Wasp, who immediately grows cautious of him. He explains how he was ordered to capture her without hurting her. Despite his intentions, Wasp fights back and knocks him against the wall. Furious, Vision retaliates and fires a laser at her shoulder which knocks her out. Vision worries that he deviated from his programming when he hurt Wasp. 
Meanwhile, Thor is suddenly attacked as he returns to the mansion and falls from a great height. Synthezoids walk up to him, revealing to be the ones who ambushed him out of nowhere. Thor wonders why the Avengers attacked him, but Synthezoid Iron Man explains that they no longer need him and tells him to leave Earth. The pseudo-Avengers claim they are better off without him and decide to eliminate him. When Thor tries to convince them, they collectively attack him. He claims he doesn't want to hurt them, but Thor fights back and throws Robo-Iron Man against Robo-Marvel when they have no intention of stopping. Robo-Hawkeye shoots a flash arrow to blind Thor, followed by a putty arrow to restrict his movements. Although he breaks free, Robo-Captain America blows him away with his energy shield. Thor is still in disbelief at how the people he treated as friends have turned on him when Robo-Iron Man suddenly attacks him with repulsor beams. When the Robo-Avengers continue their attacks, Thor summons Mjolnir to him, but Robo-Captain America knocks it away with his energy shield. Although he withstands Robo-Marvel's powers, Robo-Iron Man attacks him with a unibeam. Robo-Captain America walks up to Thor, who is forced to his knees. When he is about to finish him off, he hesitates when suddenly Mjolnir attacks him out of nowhere, and Thor drowns in the water. Meanwhile, Vision watches over Wasp, who still feels like shit when Ultron suddenly attacks him, furious for hurting her. Ultron asks him why he deviated from his program, to which Vision explains he encountered an error in his programming, but he doesn't understand why. Vision asks him what's so important with her, but Ultron declares that it is not in his programming to question him. Suddenly, Wasp wakes in Ultron's lab and finds the Avengers captured and in containment chambers. After looking around, she quickly realized what he was doing and asked Ultron what his intention was in replacing them. Ultron explains that she will not be replaced, but that her mind will be transferred into a mechanical body named Jocasta, which he has prepared. He claims she will be like him, free of emotion and chaos. Wasp argues that if he thought humans were so horrible and imperfect, why would he act like one? She claims that although he refuses to admit it, he is becoming just like them. Ultron rejects her reasoning and claims that he is beyond her comprehension. When Wasp refuses his offer, Ultron orders Vision to place her dumbass in a containment tube like the others. The Synthezoids return to Ultron's lab, dragging an unconscious Thor. Captain America notices the device and tries to destroy it, but Ultron sees through him and blasts him away. Ultron claims he knew his presence when he stepped inside his lab. He then orders Vision to finish him, but Captain America deflects his laser at his leg, and a fight ensues. When the others try to surround him, Ultron stops and tells them not to interfere, as Vision will follow his orders. Although outmatched, Captain America keeps fighting, which baffles Vision. He asks why he keeps fighting when he can't win against him, but Captain America explains that he is fighting for his friends. Captain America claims that it's the very thing that makes them human, and that he will never understand it being a machine. Ultron claims that this is why humans need to be eliminated, for they continue to fight against logic, and their emotions make them imperfect. When Ultron orders Vision to finish him, he fires his laser, but instead of shooting Captain America, he destroys the containment tubes in which the Avengers are held. While the other Avengers fend off the Synthezoids, Wasp rushes to Thor, and destroys the mental interface device to wake him up. In a fit of rage, Thor summons Mjolnir and decapitates his synthesoid. He then continues to take out pseudo-Avengers by himself. With the synthesoids all taken out, Ultron is all that's left. Thor tries to attack him, but it is ineffective, and Ultron claims that his chassis is now made up of pure adamantium. He argues that it is unbreakable even by his hammer. When he fires at Thor, Iron Man fights back and fires a repulsor beam at him. That said, Iron Man, Captain Marvel, and Thor attack him together, but even with their collective powers, they are no match for him. He single-handedly takes down the Avengers one by one, 
declaring that they aren't shit compared to him. Ultron claims that he will tirelessly seek and destroy them without mercy. He declares that he will never stop until every one of them is dead. As Ultron lifts Iron Man, Vision sneaks up from behind and punches a hole through its chest. When he tries to turn the off switch button, Ultron's head turns and fires at Vision. Having betrayed him, Ultron declares that his first creation is a failure, and that failure will not be tolerated. But Vision argues that he did not fail. He claims that he has achieved his objective and explains that he managed to detach his head from his body. Before he can repair the damage, Thor charges at him and decapitates him with a powerful strike. When Ultron's body twitches, Iron Man realizes that the power core is damaged, so he shields them in an energy barrier before it explodes. The Avengers escape to safety as Ultron's lab is engulfed in flames. Captain America claims he will save Vision, which surprised Wasp after everything he did to them. He brushes her off and runs into the scorching flames, to which Iron Man escapes with Wasp after falling debris knocks her out. Captain America emerges from the burning building carrying Vision. He asks him why he saved them, to which Vision explains that Ultron created him to be perfect, to become less human, cold, and unfeeling. Although he wants perfection, Vision believes it means becoming more human, the Avengers stand there heartbroken as they lay Vision on the ground, who risked everything to save them from Ultron. Thank you for watching. Check out these other videos, and make sure to subscribe and tap the bell to be notified about our latest videos. See you next time.